Welcome to Cam Dolphins All Access. Mike Cunha alongside Kim Bo yep. Camper. Bo, for the second straight day, we have lightning outside, so we're <laughs> we're indoors. But out at practice yep. today, saw a little thunder out uh, there, a little, yeah. little, little fighting out there. No doubt. Um, what'd you make? We saw our first first skirmish, yep. I guess you could say, yep. of camp. You like that these guys are getting into it? Well, yeah, I think it's 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 normal for camp. Yeah. You know, it's getting a little edgy out there. And I think yesterday, Mike McDaniel after practice. Kind of got on them a little bit about being a little more physical, and I think it led to that. But you know, it's you know, it's funny about these these fights in in, in training camp. They come, they go, and by the end of the day, it's it, you're laughing about it, you're watching it, the tapes on it. Yeah. But but it tends to bring teams together. Mm -hmm. You know, both offense and defense who are skirmishing each other. And I think it's just I think most coaches would like to see them, and obviously they don't want to see anyone get hurt. But I think it's uh, it's it's a little bit a little bit of team building and. Uh, and look, the fans loved it. The fans yeah. were out there, and I think that was the biggest cheer of the day when they when they started skirmishing. So it was uh, pretty good stuff. Yeah, you guys obviously didn't see this, but just a few minutes ago, he gave me a little bit of grief because I asked, "Is it oh, just part of the dog days of camp?" <laughs> yeah. And yeah, no, not the dog days. It's two day, second day in pads. <laughs> second day in pads. That's not the dog days. I'd like I'd like to apologize. <laughs> That's to all right. That's all right. Uh, Bo, but talk about the physical stuff because. Yeah. We're just listening to Jordan Brooks talk, and he yeah. said after practice, Jalen Ramsey talked to the team for about 10 minutes yeah. about being bullies, that yeah. defense being bullies, maybe shedding yeah. uh, past preconceived yeah. notions of this team being soft or something. What did you make of that? And did this team need a, a change in mentality? Well, I, I think a lot of that comes from Jordan Poyer mm -hmm. when he came up and stepped to the podium and say, this is how we beat the Dolphins 11, you know, 11 times out of the last 13 times we right. played against them because we knew they would fold when things got tough. And I think that message was really reverberated mm -hmm. in that locker room. And I hope in all these all these meeting rooms, that's what they're talking about is, hey, we need to be tougher, we need to be more physical, mm -hmm. and we need to be that kind of team. You talk to everybody that, that talked today, hey, we're gonna be dogs. Yep. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna bully people on the football field. And look, they don't need to do that when it's when when two is on hot and that offense is running like it, it runs. Right. But when it gets to the times where you gotta grind it out, they did the short yardage. Live short yardage mm -hmm. this, this today. I think that's important to get a feel for that. So I think they'll do more and more of that. But you know what? They've, they've got to do it in a controlled situation because it's all about getting your guys healthy for the regular season. But I, I like seeing that physicalness being, being a point of emphasis this early in training camp. And some of that physicalness coming from the linebacking yep. group. And there's a lot of new faces on there. As we yep. mentioned, Jordan Book, Brooks, uh, yep. Quentin Bell. What do you make of this kind of overhauled really core of linebackers yeah, it's it's you know it's going to take us a little while to figure out what anthony weaver's doing right. he's running a little three four a little four three and so you got sometimes you got two inside backers sometimes you only have one inside backer uh and and then you're you got some of the bits like i, I think duke duke Riley didn't didn't practice much today mm -hmm. uh jordan brooks did a lot uh you still have there i think they're trying to find a place for channing tyndall when it's whether it's inside or outside but i think all of that's going to shake out a little bit and it's it's I think it's 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 Weaver trying to get to know them, yeah. and them trying to get to know what the scheme is and mm -hmm. where they need to be. You know, you've seen some guys, you know, get into a spot where where, where they kind of get locked up a little bit, and maybe they got to flatten something out and, 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 and to get an angle, and, and all all that things will come. But I think the I think the good thing is that the guys that know what they're doing. Or, or getting the work that they're they needing, but yeah. the young guys are getting a lot of reps in there. There's come one kid, uh, Ezekiel Vandenberg. Yeah, I, I, he must have got 90% of the reps out there today, mm -hmm. inside outside, doing different things. Mm -hmm. Channing Tindall inside outside. So all those guys, I tell you, the guy Cam Brown to me, 47 out yeah. there, boy, he's a, you know, he's a good looking guy, and I think they're trying to find some space mm -hmm. for him. So I think it's, I think I think that didn't give them a lot of depth at that inside linebacker position with the guys that we know are probably going to be the starters on day one. Yeah, with that linebacker group, as you mentioned, as they're trying to figure things out, I think we can. it's safe to say that the secondary has really Ooh. latched onto this defense. Yeah. Poyer's out there making yeah. plays. Uh, they call him Old Man Poe, but he yeah. does not look old out there. Elijah Campbell's making plays. So Bonner's good. out there. Bonner, I mean, he's, Bonner's he's, making he's plays. He's making a name for himself right now. Absolutely. So that, you know, you look at that secondary, and you can go six deep mm -hmm. from safeties and cornerbacks and just say, hey, any any of those groupings yeah. are, are going to be pretty good it's, out there. It's been a while since Dolphins yep. can say that. I do want to talk about Tron Armstead because he did talk yep. about his ramp up today. He was out there in, in a limit again in a limited role, but he did put the yep. shoulder pads on. Um, are you happy to see how 
careful and maybe the approach they're taking with Tehran is like, you don't need to be ready right yeah. now. We need you ready. Yeah, I think he's learning to be where he's at right now, but more importantly, the team's learning how to keep him there. You remember last year, I think, where, where were we, up in Houston or wherever, yeah. and he was in a one-on-one -on -one drill, and boom, there he goes, and he's gone for three or four weeks. So I think they're trying to avoid that. But he's got to get pads on. He's got to get the feel of it. And then he talked about doing the individual drills, doing all those things, but 11-on-11, 11 11, no, stayed away from it. But I think he's a veteran. He's savvy enough where he can stand mm -hmm. on the sideline and in his mind go through those reps. Right. He talked a lot about hand position, where I can punch, where I can grab. If I, as long as I got my hand position where I need to be, I'll be, I'll be fine when, I, when it comes on there. He knows what he needs to do. And look, the big thing for him is preserve him as long as you can. Yeah. Uh, you'd like to get you know 12 games out of him, mm -hmm. you know, 10 maybe. But uh, he, he's a vital. I've always said when Tehran's in there, it's like, it's like the substitute teacher's not there anymore. The right. real teacher's in there, so everyone pays attention mm -hmm. and everyone follows him. When he's out there, it gets a little squirrely sometimes. I, I just got to say, it's, it's always good to see Tron up at the mic. That means that you, you feel like he's getting close. Yep. And obviously next week, we'll see what he ends up doing because we'll have that first joint practice. Yep. Next week, we'll see how it goes. But until then, we'll, we'll keep giving you guys the updates from here at camp. It was a physical day. Yep. It was maybe the hottest day at camp. It was a good day. It was. Good it, day. It, yep. it was a good day. All right, Bo, always a good day chatting yep. with you. My thanks pleasure. For, thanks for catching us here on Camp Dolphins All, right. All Access.